Hi everyone and welcome to this new class in the electrical system of aircraft. Today we will be discussing other generators, generators apart from those on the engines. So as I mentioned in aircraft what we have commonly is two main generators for one you know each one for the engines of our aircraft right we have generator one and generator two for engines one and two and if our aircraft has four engines for instance then we will have generators one two three and four right so apart from these two four or different types of uh, generators what we have is two more additional generators these are the apple and the rat okay right so the first generator that I want to talk about is the auxiliary power unit, also known as the Apple. So the Apple is a small jet engine which is normally located in the tail cone, cone, right? So in the end of the aircraft. But in some cases it's actually located in an engine cell or in the wheel well, depending. Now the Apple can be started utilizing only aircraft batteries, for instance meaning that can, it can actually be started with, uh, with the very least, that is only using the batteries, and once running it will actually provide electrical power to the aircraft systems, as well as bleed air for air conditioning and for the engine start. Right, so we will discuss this a bit more on the pneumatic system, but the idea is that the auxiliary power unit can provide both electrical input to our aircraft and also air pressure for the different subsystems in our aircraft, right? So this is actually a pretty interesting um, power unit that we have in our aircraft and that is mostly used, it can be used as an emergency during flight, but it's mostly used when uh, in ground operations, okay? So that is before taking off and after landing. In addition to that, we also have the Ram Air Turbine, which as you can see is, um, is kind of an emergency turbine that kind of uh, flies off. <laughs> Is ejected right to some extent from the inside of the fuselage of the aircraft and this is simply done in order to use the ram pressure which is the pressure related to the velocity the screw speed of the aircraft to actually move this turbine right and thus produce some kind of power that might be electrical power but it can also be some uh, air pressure for instance right so these are the two main additional generators that we have, the Apple and the RAT. Right, so in terms of the auxiliary power unit, it is pretty much similar to the concept that we have discussed of the of the operation of an any engine in general, right? So basically what we have is some kind of input intake of our engine, right, of this Apple engine, and what we have is air going into the inside of the engine then we simply compress it using a compressor, right? So that is increasing the pressure of the fluid, of the air, which, are, which we are intaking. And then we heat up the air and make a reaction with the fuel using the combustion section, okay? By combining these two elements, as high pressure and high temperature, we know that we really increase the enthalpy or we increase the amount of energy of that fluid meaning that we will end up with a higher velocity exhaust, okay? So you might be wondering, well, is the apple used in order to uh, increase the thrust then? Well, that's kind of um, a result of the operation of the auxiliary power unit, but it's not actually the main purpose of it. We don't, we're not using the apple to generate thrust. We are using the apple in order to make sure that the shaft right, that connects all of the different elements of the engine is actually rotated at a higher speed. If we actually manage to get this shaft to move at a high speed, then we get a gearbox, which can thus resulting, right, can actually move also at a high rotating speed. By having this gearbox moving at a high speed, as you know, the mechanical energy of movement can be transformed into electrical, into electrical input, right? So we basically have, because of the fact that we are intaking this air, heating it up, and at a higher pressure, we end up with a high rotating velocity of the gearbox, meaning that we are able to produce electricity. Now, this is the main idea of the auxiliary power unit. In addition to that, we also can take 
directly take air out of it in order to use it for cooling the oil of the engine for instance but it's also interesting to know that we simply take some of out you know some of the air outside and use it as bleed air meaning that we can use the air which is intaken right at a higher pressure and just drive it through the subsystems of the air compartments the nomadic compartments of our aircraft so this is basically the combination right we have um, auxiliary bleed air and also auxiliary electrical power meaning that the apu is actually quite a useful tool for the aircraft and as you can see the apu is located on the back on the back cone right of the aircraft and it's usually you can identify the you know the 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 nozzle right outside as the as this uh, kind of hole on the latter part of the aircraft right so this is the, ba it's the basic idea of what the auxiliary power unit is so here we have uh, a bit of an image of what the well the location of the auxiliary power unit right and this would be the comparison of the technical you know how it works and what it actually looks like so this is the auxiliary power unit right you can see that this is uh, the bleed air exhaust part and we also have the cooling parts and the inlets which are over here so this is more or less it okay the gearbox over here right so this is the main idea as i said for the auxiliary power unit right so in terms of the ram air turbine this is actually kind of um you know easier to explain in the sense that it's simply a turbine which is located which is extracted from the inside of the fuselage in some way or another and is located thus on the outside of the aircraft and due to the fact that we are moving at a high velocity or high speed we are capable of moving the turbine and so we can produce electrical input and also some pressurization of the air right so this is why we would consider using the ram air turbine imagine that both engines stop working right and for some reason the apple also starts you know doesn't operate normally in that case we would need this kind of engine to make sure that because this as you can see it's completely reliable the idea of just putting um, some kind of turbine outside of the aircraft is something that you can easily achieve in any situation right and due to the fact that simply the aircraft is moving we will have the capability of producing generating electricity so this is the most fundamental idea of how to use you know how to create electricity in an aircraft right so this would be all the auxiliary power unit and the ram air turbine let's move on